Good morning everybody and welcome to day eight. The first day we've left and it's felt like, look, sun is in the sky, there's not much wind. This is wonderful. What a start to the day, look down there. It's all we're going off this morning. My pin lock visor's broke and I've immediately steamed up straight away. That's annoying. I, I forgot to delete stuff off the memory card, so I came to get going this morning and got no memory, so I've had to delete a load of files. Oh, it's been, it's been very stressful. I've been extremely mardy. But anyway, we're on the move now. And the plan for today is we are going to Glasgow. We're going right into the city centre. We're staying in the luxury of a five-star Premier Inn. Um, and we're just going to get there nice and early, straight through crew almost, and then explore the city. So who knows what I'll have to show you on this vlog today. feel better once we get moving and I get riding. I'll stop being Marty and um, we'll have a good day. It's the last day of joyous riding, so I need to pick my move, pick my spirits up. This visor's doing my head in. Right, let's go baby, see you in a bit. It didn't take long for my mood to pick up. I soon got on the road again. Nothing beats just getting out there. We entered Glencoe and things picked up for me. I put my sunshades on, the visor stopped steaming up and we were back to heaven. This is some spot through here. This is um, just sat in the bottom of this deep V. Amazing really, beautiful. I thought that all the good stuff was gone. I thought that all the, the stuff that was interesting was long behind us. Look at the state of this. That is incredible. No, the NC500 is long behind us. So we're just, just now we're just seeing Scotland. And not for the first time, we left the mountains behind and all of a sudden everything was flat, completely flat, straight road. And I think that's one thing that surprised me about the NC500. You weren't seeing the same thing over and over again. I couldn't believe how much the landscape was changing all the time. Every corner, every hill you went over, things were different. Finally got some open road ahead of us. After following a string of camper vans and cars all the way through that range there. He'll come out the other side and look at this. Look at it. We've also all of a sudden found a load of bikers. We've gone past a couple of calves there. Straight over this roundabout. We came past a couple of calves there and there were actually bikers in there, but we're presuming that they're going to do the West Coast and Sky because the NC500, I guess, is Inverness to Inverness. So. But today's really shocked me. I was. Well, as I said, I was in a bit of a funk this morning, just being a misery guts, but it didn't take long to boost my mood. This has been awesome. I've really enjoyed this. Been very relaxed riding, no pressure, just main roads. And while we have had to sit in traffic, it's just been very easy to sit in and enjoy the view. So lovely, lovely. We've got an hour and 19 minutes until we get to our destination. I'm guessing about half an hour of that at the end will just be battling taxis in Glasgow. So I should make the most of this. We've got about, I don't know, 45, 50 minutes of this. This beautiful, beautiful scenery. We decided to take a stop off at Inverooglass on the west shore of Loch Lomond. A lovely little spot, well worth a little nip in there. Excellent treats. And just take in what was the last of the, the really special scenery before we headed into the big city. then welcome to Glasgow we're going over the Erskine Bridge wonderful the Sun is still shining and really strange sensation as we've sort of left what felt like another planet to then just 
although it isn't home, feels very much just like home. Dual carriageways, big bollards everywhere. It's just just such a contrast. It makes me feel quite sad that it's. It very much feels like the end of the journey. But it's been a nice day's ride in, nice little stop off at the side of Loch Lomond. I really cannot complain. And what a trip we've had. We've, we've, we're all just, um, I think we've all, I spoke to my mum a minute ago, and we're all just loving it. She enjoyed this trip way more than she thought she would, and I think I have as well. It's been absolutely incredible. But we've got to find an NCP car park now, and then let's go and explore Glasgow and see what it's got to say. The old, the old baby made it. This absolute beauty. And me and my dad were saying, there's some guy on here, it's a brand new Tiger K past us. Like, what do you get for your 25,000 pounds? How would that have made our experience any better than it was? And the answer is, I don't think it would have. This old baby was absolutely bloody perfect. I think we're gonna go do some museum in, check into the five star luxury and have some fun. Right guys, so there we go. I guess the trip is officially over. 2,000 kilometers later on my 21 year old beautiful GS. It's been an incredible trip, a completely amazing trip. From those beautiful ocean views and mountains, rolling hills, turning blind bends and coming over crests to see the most incredible things you've ever seen, to being in Glasgow, a rainy Glasgow. Rainy, as the trip started, why wouldn't it be? It's been perfect. It's been the most incredible adventure. I've absolutely loved it. And I hope you've enjoyed following along as well. And I hope this inspires you to do your own trip, your own version of this trip. Maybe do a different trip, I don't know. I hope it inspires you in some way to do something. If you did enjoy this whole series, then please do drop on there, hit that little like button, drop a little comment on there. Tell me about your adventures. Tell me what you intend to do. Tell me what you wanna do. Do all those things and then subscribe to the channel. And then if I'm a good boy, I might be able to go on an, an, another adventure. I've just got to make the decision now. Do I sell the GS to move on to pastures new or do I keep it and make it my long-term baby? I don't quite know. But again, thank you all so much. I've absolutely loved making this. See you later, guys. Right, it's finally here. Right, I'm day two. What up, everybody? So, morning. Morning, everybody. Welcome to the Borgie Lodge. Morning, welcome to Morning guys, so 